Hi everyone, happy December 1st. Today I will be sharing my Cartier jewelries along with the cleaning kit, brochures, and the perfume that came along with my purchases from three years ago. That is right, this is not an unboxing episode, but rather to share some of the items that I noticed others did not share in their unboxing videos. I'm not certain if others are not aware that Cartier does provide cleaning kit for their clients purchase jewelries. I will go over them of how I was able to obtain these goodies. I will also share my three year review of my Cartier jewelries. In this way, you can decide if you're still on the fence of purchasing these items that I own after watching this video. Before we proceed, I would like to first thank my returning subscribers as I am truly grateful for your continued support for my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the button located at the bottom right corner of your screen and hit that notification bell to be notified for any new videos as I do upload videos two to three times a week. Okay, let's get started. Let me first tell you a short story of my adventure in purchasing my Cartier jewelries. I purchased my jewelries through their website at Cartier.com. I was a bit nervous at first because of the sizing as I wasn't certain if I was ordering the right fit for me. When my items arrived in the mail, I was beyond ecstatic. However, I was having a hard time putting my bracelet on my wrist. So then I took a trip to Cartier Boutique in Tyson's Gallery of Virginia. I must admit that they are quite helpful and very professional. For instance, the essay behind me saw my struggle taking a selfie with the Cartier Boutique as my background. She then asked their security guard to take a photo of me. Okay, let's start with the cleaning kit. While I was at the Cartier Boutique in Tyson's Galleria, I asked the SA what is the best way to clean my Cartier jewelries. She then suggested to call the toll-free number from their website and request for a cleaning kit for my two purchase jewelries. On the way home, I contacted them and requested this item. I then did not realize that they were sending me two sets of cleaning kits. To be honest, I rarely use this solution when cleaning my Cartier jewelries. Plus, they don't get dirty quick and you only need a pea size of this solution per jewelry. However, I do keep one set of solution along with the brush and the cloth in the bathroom for easy access. Along with my two sets of cleaning kits, they also included a travel size or sample perfume and two pouches for my jewelries, one for my ring and one for my bracelet. Unfortunately, I cannot seem to find the pouch for my bracelet. It will probably show up later on. Now, each of my jewelry came with an authenticity certificate. Last but not least, Cartier will also include these brochures. The larger size is mainly for the type of services that they can do for your purchase jewelries. The smaller brochure is mainly for an upkeep or how to care, maintain, store, and clean your jewelries. Now that we're done with the goodies that came with my purchase items, let's now discuss my Cartier jewelries. Okay, let me first show you my love ring. It came with this beautiful tag with their known Cartier logo or symbol in which I truly adore. For the wear and tear of my love ring after three years of wearing it, 
I must say that it held up so well. There are scratches of course, but they're very, very light. The size of my love ring is 55, which is the equivalent of 7.25 here in the US. And this is how I normally wear my love ring. Next is my love cuff. The same way, it came with this beautiful red tag. The wear and tear of my love cuff are more visible than that of my love ring, especially the opening of this cuff. You will be able to see that the opening looks a bit dull after three years of wearing it. I believe the opening area is where the most wear because of the position of my wrist when I'm working all day on my work desk that my wrist is rubbing against my keyboard tray. As you can see in this video, there are more visible scratches on the surface. The size of my love cuff is the 16 cm, which is the smallest size. And this is how the Cartier SA taught me to put my love cuff on my wrist. I like my bracelet snug the same way with my VCA bracelet. Now it may look tight on my wrist but it's actually not. There is a slight space enough for me to take it out and to put it on my wrist. And this is how I wear my bracelets along with my love ring. Okay, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to put them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video. Bye!